Welcome back to another video on calculus. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about displacement, velocity, and acceleration. Okay. So the first thing I'll do is just define them. So you might have heard some of them before. You might not have. Uh, you'll come across them if you're doing physics. So basically, displacement is just another word for distance. It's a little bit different than distance, but this is just an easy way of thinking about it. So velocity is basically speed, and acceleration is just itself. Okay. Acceleration is acceleration. There's no other word for it. Okay. The difference between displacement and distance. So I'll do this in green here. Say we start at this point here. Okay. If you go over here, so you go three steps. You go three steps. Okay. Your displacement is equal to displacement is equal to three. Okay. So bear with me. Say if you go this way. And you go three steps. Now your displacement is equal to minus three, basically because you went to the left in the opposite direction. That's the one difference. So it's just handier instead of saying I took three steps to the right or three steps to the left, you can just say my displacement is plus three or my displacement is minus three. That's the one main difference between distance and displacement. Okay. Um, also your speed then and velocity. So again, if you are going this direction, so look at this blue arrow here, I'll say the velocity is equal to 10 meters per second. Meters per second is just like kilometers per hour. It's just a measure of speed. So your velocity is 10 meters per second. And then again, if I'm going like this, then my velocity is minus 10 meters per second. Okay, that's all there is to it. That makes sense? So it's just it just kind of gives it a direction as well as a, a value. Yeah, an acceleration, if it's plus, okay, and I guess I will write that here as well. Give me a second, I'll do red again. Um, acceleration, okay. So we'll say if plus, and then something is getting faster. So that's what acceleration means, that's getting faster. minus and you can call it deceleration it's just getting slower so we'll look at all these examples later of uh, what they mean but i just want to give a qu quick introduction to these three terms here because sometimes that people just run straight into them you don't even understand the words how you can understand the, the maths behind them okay so does that make sense so far yeah and um, you can pause and look back so hopefully that makes sense and i'm going to go to do a little bit of the maths about them there um, and i will pick green okay so a lot of the time in these kind of questions, they're going to give you the displacement of a particle or a car or a person, wherever they're going to give it to you. And the displacement, so I'll do this in green. Displacement is S, okay? So I'll give it to you, like that's the symbol for displacement. If you see S, it means uh, displacement. And that's in meters because it's kind of a distance, yeah? So I use steps up here just as a basic example, but uh, displacement is normally going to be in meters, okay? Okay, if they give you the displacement, then so S is here, you can find ds dt. So again, this will make more sense when we start using actual uh, numbers, but ds dt, so you've differentiated uh, with t, and that's going to be in meters per second, and that's going to give you velocity. Okay, let me put down a little v there. And the last one I'll do in purple. So again, this will make much more sense if you do d2s dt squared. So if you double differentiate displacement, yeah, or if you differentiate velocity, so again, dv dt, so they're the same thing. They're all equal to a, and a is in meters per second squared, and a is our acceleration. Okay, so this might seem a little bit confusing at first, but it just shows you the relationship between displacement velocity and acceleration and you do need to learn these three off so you need to know how to use them in a question they're not given in any formula so you just have to understand that displacement when you differentiate it with t with t is time you get velocity so that's how quick you're going and if you differentiate this you'll find how quick you're getting faster that's kind of what acceleration is how much you're getting faster or getting slower okay just learn these three things off and then understand these three basic things that you can have a plus or a minus displacement or velocity okay 
So hopefully this video is only kind of a basic introduction. Hopefully it isn't too confusing. Uh, it seems a little bit abstract without examples, but in the next video we're going to do some examples and hopefully it'll clear these up. But you definitely have to learn these three points. Okay, I hope the video helped and we'll see you next time.